Yahusha, Joshua 4. And it came to pass, when all the people were clean passed over at the Yardan, that Yahuwah spoke unto El Yahusha, saying, Take you twelve men out of the people, out of every tribe a man, and command ye them, saying, Take you hence out of the midst of the Yardan, out of the place where the priest's feet stood firm, twelve stones, and ye shall carry them over with you, and leave them in the lodging place, where ye shall lodge this night. Then Yahusha called the twelve men, whom he had prepared of the children of Yashara'el, out of every tribe a man. And Yahusha said unto them, Pass over before the ark of Yahuwah Elohechem into the midst of the Yardan, and take ye up every man of you a stone upon his shoulder, according unto the number of the tribes of the children of Yashara'el, that this may be a sign among you, that when your children ask their fathers in time to come, saying, What mean ye by these stones? Then ye shall answer them, That the waters of the Yardan were cut off before the Ark of the Covenant of Yahuwah. When it passed over the Yardan, the waters of the Yardan were cut off, and these stones shall be for a memorial unto the children of Yashara'el forever. And the children of Yashara'el did so as Yahusha commanded, and took up twelve stones out of the midst of the Yardan, as Yahuwah spoke unto El Yahusha, according to the number of the tribes of the children of Yashara'el, and carried them over with them unto the place where they lodged, and laid them down there. And Yahusha set up twelve stones in the midst of the Yardan, in the place where the feet of the priests, which bore the Ark of the Covenant, stood. And they are there unto this day. For the priests which bore the Ark stood in the midst of the Yardan, until everything was finished that Yahuwah commanded Eth Yahusha to speak unto the people, according to all that Moshe commanded Eth Yahusha, and the people hasted and passed over. And it came to pass, when all the people were clean passed over, that the ark of Yahuwah passed over, and the priests in the presence of the people, and the children of Reuven, and the children of Gad, rather God, and half the tribe of Manasseh, passed over armed before the children of Yashara'el, as Moshe spoke unto them. About 40,000 prepared for war passed over before Yahuwah unto battle to the plains of Yericho. On that day, Yahuwah magnified Eth Yahusha in the sight of all Yashara'el, and they feared him as they feared Eth Moshe all the days of his life. And Yahuwah spoke unto El Yahusha, saying, Commandeth the priests that bear the ark of the testimony, that they come up 
out of the Yardan. Yahusha therefore commanded Eth the priests, saying, Come ye up out of the Yardan. And it came to pass, when the priests that bore the Ark of the Covenant of Yahuwah were come up out of the midst of the Yardan, and the soles of the priests' feet were lifted up unto the dry land, that the waters of the Yardan returned unto their place and flowed over all his banks as they did before. And the people came up out of the Yardan on the tenth day of the first month and encamped in Gilgal in the east border of Yericho. And those twelve stones which they took out of the Yardan did Yahusha pitch in Gilgal. And he spoke unto the children of Yashara'el, saying, When your children shall ask Eth their fathers in time to come, saying, What mean these stones? Then ye shall let Eth your children know, saying, Yashara'el came over Eth this Yardan on dry land. For Yahuwah Elohechem dried up at the waters of the Yardan from before you until ye were passed over as Yahuwah Elohechem did to the Red Sea which he dried up from before us until we were gone over that all the people of the earth might know at the hand of Yahuwah, that it is mighty, that ye might fear at Yahuwah Elohechem forever.